user-defined loads in TIA Selection Tool. With Control Panel Design in TIA Selection Tool, you have many options for electrical dimensioning and the selection of combinations for load feeders. To set up the main circuit as realistically as possible, you must create and display all loads in the main circuit, especially to properly design the main switch of the control cabinet. To be able to describe as many different load types as possible, Control Panel Design in TIA Selection Tool offers the possibility to configure user-defined loads. You'll see how that works in the next few minutes. In the prepared main circuit, the total current is about 15 amps. In addition, another larger load, for example a heater or a power supply, is to be connected in the main circuit. Add a new load feeder and configure the electrical load for this purpose. Select User Defined Load as the type of load. Then define the electrical behavior by determining whether the load is resistive, that is, an ohmic load, capacitive, or inductive. Then select whether the load is a single phase or multi phase load. With a single phase load, you can decide to which line conductor the load should be connected. As soon as you have specified the electrical power, the current is automatically determined. Then define whether the load is located inside or outside the control cabinet. For the configuration, it's also important to determine whether the load should be considered in the total current calculation. If, for example, this is a so-called bypass load that only becomes active if another component or load fails, you should usually select no so that the main switch isn't unnecessarily overdimensioned. If you click on Go to Infeed in the single line diagram, you will see that the load is applied and the total current has increased. To ensure that all line conductors are utilized as synchronously as possible, you automatically receive a suggestion as to which line conductor the load should be connected to. If you create another user-defined load and then specify again that it should be a single phase load, L2 is automatically proposed as the line conductor in this case. After entering the electrical power, for example 9 kW, and clicking on Go to Infeed, the new load is now also displayed marked with the indicator that it is connected to L2. The total current hasn't increased any further because this load has lower amps compared to the load at L1. The distribution over the phases is thus taken into account. This would allow you to connect a third load without increasing the total current. These and many other functions are provided by Control Panel Design in TIA Selection Tool. Have fun trying it out! Siemens. Ingenuity for life.